Today we're going to take a look at how to do some lace um, and also sheer fabric because um, lace is really an extension of uh, how you do sheer fabric and I always get a lot of questions from students on how to show sheer fabric, um, how to draw it, and it really has to do with um, showing skin tone underneath. Uh, of course, when we have sheer fabric, that means it's see-through. Uh, so you're going to be able to see the skin tone underneath. So I have some arms here. So we're just going to do some um, sleeves, some long sleeves of lace um, in white and black uh, over various skin tones, sort of going from dark to kind of medium into light. So I'm going to start over here with um, <clears throat> some white uh, lace. We're going to start here, and I have a lot of different medium that I'm going to use. So I'm going to try to sort of maybe do it in chunks with different mediums so you can get to see the effect of it. And whenever I'm doing anything like this, I like to have maybe like a little bit of a scratch pad. So I'm going to sort of test on a scratch pad um, each different um, medium that I'm going to use to draw the lace. Um, and it's always something that I like to do, having a little scratch pad on the side when I draw, just so I can test colors, I can test media, see how it looks on top of um, uh, other media, or if I'm trying to work out a different, like a specific fabric texture or whatever else. So it's always a good thing. So first part, I'm going to take a look at maybe some different laces and how we go ahead and um, adjust them. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, for the top one, before, before we do anything, we want to make sure we put in like a sheer fabric. So lace is essentially, and other types of sheer fabric um, are essentially a sheer fabric with maybe some embroidery on top of it. So we want to put in sort of a white sheer um, uh, fabric first. And to do that, I'm going to sort of experiment with a couple things. Um, I'm going to experiment with two different types of white sort of pencil. I have a white charcoal pencil and I have a white colored pencil. Okay. I'm also going to use a little bit of gouache too, so we can see what they all look like. So I'll start up here and I'll do all the way across for all of them. Um, and we'll have... And what I want to do with this is I kind of want it soft, so I'm going to use sort of the edge of it. I'm not going to kind of bring it down like this. I'm going to use the edge of it. And we get to see it picks up the texture of the page quite nicely. Maybe I'll stop about right there so we can leave some room for other mediums. And we'll go on. But I can still see very easily that skin tone underneath. So we're getting that sheer effect, um, which will really come into play when I start to outline it too. So the effect is gonna be a lot subtler the lighter we go with the skin tone. But as you can see, so it gives you a nice um, sort of textured pattern. So if you have something like um, like this gauze right here. Actually, if I put it over, you can see it's actually quite similar. The gauze might be, a, it's a little bit more solid, so maybe I could go over it once more if I really wanted that gauze effect. Um, but maybe I want something a little bit smoother, like say this is like a voile. So it's a bit smoother. You don't see as much texture. So we don't want this texture here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try with my colored pencil and see the kind of effect that we get there. And it's similar, it's just a little bit more subtle. The texture isn't quite as pronounced. And of course, I can always go back and sort of blend it a little bit, either with a finger or a smudge stick to reduce the sort of texture if I need to. So let me just sort of draw a little line in here just to show you where I'm breaking the textures. I 
And again, the more I push down and the harder I go, kind of the more opaque it's gonna become or the more the white is really gonna stand out on top of the skin tone. And again, I'm using that edge of the pencil. Again, we can smooth it out a little bit. Now, again, all each of these ones are giving us a little bit of a texture, but what if you have something really, really smooth, like a chiffon that has very fine grain and really not much texture to it at all? Well, in that instance, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some gouache, um, it's my ancient tube of white gouache. And um, gouache is really nice because it sits on top of other colors really well. Um, and you can dilute it with water uh, if you want a more transparent effect, if you want the colors underneath to show through. Um, if not, you don't use any water um, or maybe just a tiny little bit of water. And we'll get into that when we get into sort of more of the details uh, of, of the actual lace instead of just the, the sheer part. But I'm gonna go in now and um, I wanna also test this because my amount of water um, to on the brush and um, actual paint in there is gonna have a big effect. So, um, and I also wanna make sure it's not too wet, especially with the paper that I'm using, cause I'm not using my normal Bristol board, just using sketch paper. And you always have to be very careful when using any sort of, you know, gouache or paint on such a thin paper, cause it can make it buckle. So I don't wanna use extra water that I don't need, but that's looking pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to go in and just bring it down. You see how nice and smooth that is. Now the water can have a little bit of a tendency to sort of pull down, so I can sort of bring it up a little bit. And I am working vertically, obviously, so the water's going to sink down. If I wanted it to stay a little bit flatter, I might work flat. But this is much better to capture on video. So just a little bit. And then I'm gonna leave the cuff for another sort of little type of lace. Or maybe like a mesh or a tool, something that's very, very textured. Just a little bit. You can see the white, the white lace is very difficult to see on the, the lighter skins. We'll have the sort of the, get the same deal going on when we get to the darker laces on dark skin, so. Giving it a little line there. Again, I don't really want textures or anything. I just want it to be smooth. So you can see how smooth that, that color tone is. I'm not getting any of the texture. So really depending on the type of fabric that you're using, you're gonna use one or the other, okay? Now, as I move down, I'm going to do sort of like a mesh or like a, a tool, something that has a very sort of solid or bigger yarns. Um, down here. And with that, what you're really gonna get is it's gonna be kind of more texture. So say if I have like a little net, like a lace knit or a mesh or a tool or something like that, we wanna get that texture in there. And you can do all sorts of different types of textures, of course, too. And I, here I'm using the white charcoal pencil because I find it stands out over the colors a little bit better. Or we can do a little bit of a crosswise mesh. Maybe I'll try a little bit of a different te uh, texture here. A little faster, at least.
my burlies too. Okay, so now that we have this, this would be perfectly fine for a sheer fabric. All I'd have to go back and do is the outline uh, just to put in the little wrinkles or little details, bring it out as much as I want, make it loose or tight, uh, depending on, you know, what kind of silhouette I would like it. Um, but what lace is, is it's um, really, um, it's embroidery on top of a sheer to semi-sheer fabric, okay? So um, let's think of like, say, maybe a bridal lace and go up here. So what I want is I want something that is going to stand out on top of these colors. So I'm going to try, I'm going to use my white charcoal pencil up here and let's do some little lace details. Um, and you know, there's lots of different ones. A lot of times they can be kind of maybe a little swirly, a little floral, depending on what you want. Again, I'm just sort of making it up. I don't really have a fabric right now that I'm working off of. But let's say we have sort of maybe a like a little floral lace. Just sort of an idea here okay so in addition to that what I can do if I don't think that that's sitting on top nicely enough or if I want a more sort of dramatic impact I can use the gouache because the gouache again sits on top of the colors very very well um, and this time when I use the gouache I'm going to use little to no water And I'm just going to load up my brush with a nice healthy amount. And let's go down here on the this last section. And oh, that's maybe too much. Probably using a little bit more of a detail brush, but. And let's continue with a lace pattern, maybe a little bit different of a lace pattern. Let's do maybe a more geometric one. And you can see just how well that stands out. Really bright, really nice. You get the idea, so I'm going to kind of continue down. Now, the other um, type of, it's sort of like a lace, what we call is a burnout. Now, what a burnout is, is it's um, a sheer fabric, usually um, an organza or sometimes a chiffon if you want it soft. And what it is, is it has a pattern of sort of velvet on it. The velvet is very solid and very opaque against the sheer fabric. So you'd want to use, again, something that stands out very solidly here. And you can see this is still letting a little bit of that skin tone through. It's a little softer. It's a little more subtle. This is very, very strong what it's doing right here. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here and I want to look at a different type of lace. I have a couple examples here. Um, it's not really a lace. It's, I guess it's not a true lace, but it's similar and it is uh, sheer fabric. So what I have is here is it's called a eyelet fabric 
and it has these little holes on it. So it's kind of semi-sheer. I think I have another example. Here's another example. This one's a little prettier. Um, and it has a little bit of hole holes in it. Those are the eyelets along with some embroidery. And the fabric itself is a little bit semi-sheer. So how would we do that? So I'm gonna actually do this fabric right here. And I'm gonna do it with this. Of course, I could also, again, if I wanted it really, really light, I could do it with um, the paint as well. Really just depends on yeah, on your fabric. So I have a little bit there. I'm gonna have another one kind of right here. Kind of get the repeat in an orderly manner. And then here's something there. And then maybe we have a little one peeking out here. And a little bit of this, a little bit of a hole there. Now to get the hole, all I'm simply gonna do is grab my skin tone that I was using before. And I, all the skin tones were a used marker. So this was this marker. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and dot in where that skin tone is showing through. And that will help it sort of look like it's a hole because when it's a hole, of course, we can see straight down to the actual skin tone. Okay, so let's continue on and sort of look at um, some more lace patterns and um, little techniques that we can use. So let's move back up here and I'm gonna use another, yet another, um, a medium. This one I'm gonna use the white colored pencil and I'm gonna use it up here. So this is gonna be um, still a little bit soft and subtle. This is gonna be even more so. So let's say we have maybe little patterns kind of going in here. Now there's, I also want to show you sort of, so lace is often embellished. Um, we could imagine having little beads or something there. And I actually really like to use sort of nail polish um, to do little pearls or little beads or anything like that. Um, however, I, I didn't have my nail polish, so I'm actually going to probably revisit this. So it'll be a little tack it on to the end if we want to do that. Um, now there's another fabric, and unfortunately I don't have a swatch for it, but it's called a Swiss dot. And it's it's kind of a little bit like a burnout where we have these sort of solid, almost kind of fluffy spots on top of um, a kind of semi-sheer fabric. They're very close to our eyelets. Some have embroidery along with it too, but they don't have the holes. And they just sort of have a little kind of fuzzy raised dot part. So what I'm going to use there, of course I can use the white gouache, but again I want to just use this opportunity to show you um, all the different uh, mediums, just a whole bunch of them, so you can choose what's going to work best for you. But I'm going to use white out pen here. Um, and I like white out pen, it's a nice, it's very precise. And we'll just go in and dot it. I'll stagger the dots a little bit. Of course, we do want some coming off. We'll just continue on, almost there, and we'll come down a little bit more. And again, if you want to go over it or put a little bit more on it, you can. Just being careful because, again, I'm working vertical, so I don't want it to drip. 
But if it's not showing up enough for you, you can always go back and sort of reinforce those ideas. And then you have a very sort of lovely Swiss dot texture for you. Um, can move down here. And what have I not done yet? Um, used all my other, there's a little bit more paint. And I don't know. something like that okay so there we are so um we have our laces here um so let's go ahead and just i'm going to do just different little lace patterns but uh just continue to mix up the medium so on the top of this we haven't done um paint over charcoal yet so on this top one i'm going to do paint over charcoal and i'm just going to do just sort of quick i'm going to try to speed it up a little bit um i don't know let's let's do a little Okay. And okay, so let's do this was colored pencil. So I'm gonna do colored pencil and colored pencil. And let's do let's do another sort of geometric one. Um or I don't know. So you can see this is very, very subtle. a little flower actually you know what you want know I'm gonna do here I'm gonna do like a little attachment like this which I'm gonna just start as sort of white blobs but we'll go in and we'll put in a little bit more detail So we'll make those into little floral ones. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and outline and, and we're going to sort of see how we can um, just sort of adjust it, make maybe make some of the textures stand out a little bit more. Now, um, I'm a big fan of black outlines, but um, if you are going to use black, use a very, very fine point because white lace especially is very sort of light and fluffy and airy. And you want to get that idea you want to keep that feeling of being white and fluffy and light so I'm actually going to use a pencil to outline um, it's a little bit darker than our usual it's a B um, but it's not black so again it's it's going to be a little lighter than um, our black outline but I, I will do some black outline so I'm going to start up here and what's going to be important is let's say this is fairly fitted but I do want to sort of show a little bit of the texture coming through 
And don't be afraid just a little bit, maybe not the whole thing, but just here and there, add a little bit of an outline to your lace texture. Now this is gonna give it a little bit of depth and have it show up a little bit better. Not too much. And again, be careful, especially if you wanna use black because it, it can make it look a lot darker and less sort of light and airy really quickly. But I can also sort of extend the pattern. So see, I'm sort of extending the pattern out to where it might be. And go out so there we are we'll go uh right like that and i think i'll continue uh with pencil along on this one maybe switch to black on the other ones so i'm just going to kind of go down get the general outline here and if this was very hold on if this was a very thick like i was talking about maybe the burnouts and since it's so light it kind of is i always want to show it in the texture so whenever we have embroidery or a burnout or anything, we're gonna have a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna just show a little bit of that texture in the outline and it's gonna make it feel a little bit more real. And then we can continue our little details here. You can also sort of just a little, add a little bit of it here and there. Just a little bit, not the whole thing, but just maybe a line here and there to add a little bit of depth. It's almost like adding a shadow to it. Let's go here again. Let's make sure it looks a little bit textured. And then there we go. And that way we can sort of bring it out, bring the patterning out. And we don't have to restrict the garment from being really, really skin tight to be able to see it. All right, let's move on down to our little eyelet here. And then whoop. We need to find those holes too. That would be nice. A little bit here we don't need much again this is almost just like shading for the texture of it so we can sort of have it come across we have maybe a little bit here maybe i'm showing it coming okay guys we're going to come back and do some black lace i'm going to use slightly different um medium for the sheer part so in the white, we used wash and we used um, some uh, white charcoal and uh, we used a uh, just a white colored pencil. So in this, I'm going to go ahead and use some colored pencil, some marker, and just regular pencil. So we're going to start up top um, with some colored pencil. Now, when I do the black sheer part, I'm not gonna actually use um, black colored pencil. What I'm gonna first use is a black, uh, or not, sorry, not black, but a 90% warm gray. So it's a fairly dark gray. And again, uh, with the sheer, even if it is a black sheer, um, because it is sheer, it's gonna end up looking a little bit gray. It's not gonna be super solid. Um, and if you do use a black colored pencil or black marker, it's going to go ahead and look just too heavy. So I'm first going to use sort of the same technique again here with 90% warm gray colored pencil. And again, using the sort of flat edge of it, I'm going to go in and we're going to get the same kind of texture. I have to be a little bit careful going over because again, 
I have to fill in now. We can't just leave it white. So, and I can always fill it out a little bit more once we get to the outline, just depending on how far it goes out and away from the skin. So let's see if I can sort of even it out a little bit okay now I'm gonna move on to the um, just the normal pencil now it's gonna be a little bit lighter than this because again the gray is a little bit lighter it's also gonna be a little bit smoother just like before when we went we switched from the colored pencil to the I'm sorry from the charcoal pencil So there we are. Now for the last section, I'm going to use a gray marker and I'm going to use, I'm going to start with a two or let's say three because that's what I picked up. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and you'll see that the gray marker allows for the skin tone to show through. This might even be too dark a gray for our light skin tone because you don't want to hide it, but you can see it's sort of peeking through there. It's a little bit streaky, so I'm just going to very lightly kind of go over it. I don't want to cover all of my skin tone. I just want it to peek out a little bit, and you can see it is still peeking out a little bit. Um, if it, you need to have it show a little bit more, you can try to sort of add a little bit more skin tone on top if you want it to peek out a little bit more. Okay, um, so here we are. We have um, the sheer fabric um, put on. So again, that would be step one. And again, a lot of fabric is just sheer. It doesn't have any other detail, but let's go in and put um, the detail in just like we did before. 
And up here, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use the um, a black ink pen um, for the detail. So the black is a lot easier than the white for the um, details just because um, it shows up more. So um, here we had a sort of gray colored pencil. So now I have a nice black colored pencil. We're going to do that up here. And now what I want to do is I want to come down and I'm going to use the same black um, colored pencil down here. Maybe we'll do the same kind of zigzag pattern. And now for this last one, I'm going to use ink. And, and, and really, I prefer to use ink, uh, black ink, when I'm doing these sorts of uh, black laces. Um, but I also wanted to show you just how the, the uh, black colored pencil will look too. So here we're going to do a black eyelid. Eyelids usually come in white, but sometimes they come in other colors and sometimes they even come in black. So we get that. And again, just to reinforce that hole, that the hole is there, I'm going to go and dot in um, a little bit over it. So just like we went over here to make the skin show through a little bit more, I'm going to go so it'll look a little bit more rich um, than uh, just where the gray is covering it. Okay, now let's move on to uh, the middle skin tone and for this one it was a very subtle pattern very so i'm going to switch to back to my pencil just to give a little bit more of a subtler feeling to these guys here so we're going to maybe just do the little diamonds Just in case you do have something that is, you know, a little bit more subtle. I mean, of course, there's little dots in here. Now here we have the Swiss dot, which I'm just going to use um, 
If you want, you can use a gray marker or you can use a black marker. It doesn't matter. It really depends on your fabric. I'm going to use black. Let's see what I got. A brush pen maybe this time. And let's put in our little dots. Along. Let's make sure we have maybe a couple on the sides here, maybe they're cut off. Again, we want to see it on the side so we get that texture. I'm going to do something a little bit different for our next section. Next section, I want to show um, something similar. So remember I was talking about the burnouts before, like this might be a burnout, how it's a sheer fabric with like velvet patterns on top. So it gives this very, very high contrast pattern from the very delicate sheer fabric to the plush velvet. So I'm going to do a sort of burnout down here. So I'm going to uh, sort of go away from our uh, patterning for just a minute. And let maybe let's do like um, almost like maybe spots or in this again. Remember it's plush, so I really want the dark areas to stand out and come out from that outline to give it that texture and that feeling of being. It's hard for me to get new markers. My own line are dry. So I have to do this with my, <laughs> there we are. My dry erase marker saves the day. So just doing almost like maybe like an animal pattern, cheetah print or something. Again, when it hits that outline, I really want to see it pop out. And we're going to make that a little bit even more when we go back and we sort of finish it off with our outlines and things like that. Okay, so now let's do a little bit maybe of a thicker one. So we did this and it was very standout. Now it's not going to be hard to make the lace stand out here, um, just like it was not very hard to make the lace stand out here, um, just depending on the contrasting color. Uh, so let's go ahead and again, I'm going to continue with some black ink and let's do our sort of little thicker little flower here and see how well that black ink really stands out. Maybe it would be a little bit too much. Maybe you wanted to use the colored pencil for this. It might have been a little bit better. Oh, I'm already in the other section. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Okay. 
maybe something a little bit more here. Again, you don't want any place too devoid of patterning or else it looks sparse or look like it is uneven or something if you kind of forget to fill in the edges a little bit. Um, okay, so let's do another subtle one. So I'm going to use the colored pencil um, or actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a very light colored gray uh, colored pencil because we're going to use a little bit more. Now, this is all the way. This is only about a 50% gray. So let's do the same thing. A little bit of a, again, a light hand because we're going to go for something sort of subtle here. stay pretty subtle and then on this bottom one let's do the same sort of thing but let's assume that it is black flowers and again I'm going to switch to my black ink and I'm just going to kind of blob it in In the general shape of those little flowers again I do want to show them coming out of that outline just like before leaving a lot of texture for those petals And there we go. All right, now let's go back to sort of the finishing and maybe do a little detail down here just like before. Um, so I'm gonna grab a black ink. I'm definitely gonna use black ink now because I don't need to worry about it staying light and fluffy because it's already, you know, black lace, which is a little bit heavier in feel. And we're gonna go ahead and if I need to, I can bring, make sure my details are coming out right to the edge. And if there's a little bit of texture, I can add it in there. But it just sort of wraps it all up. There we go, pretty easy for right there. I'm gonna continue down. Again, making sure that if it needs to, it comes to the edge. And depending on how textured that is, I might want to add a little bit extra. So I'll show you the difference. So I haven't really added any texture here, but let me add just like a little bit of texture to the edge here. And so you can really see how it starts to kind of let you feel with your eyes what the, the texture of the fabric is, which is what we want, right? Letting these little bumps come past the outline. You can see it really makes that effect that you can really start to feel it over there. Okay, now down here is going to be pretty easy as well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, let's say we have like a tool or a mesh, um, and we're going to do it sort of the same way as we did before. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and Let's do the same thing here and it's a little bit easier because I can use just a thicker marker tip. I'm gonna come in here, we'll also wrap it up here. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a finer mesh. So this is, is very kind of big, but um, if you were to have something like a tool or something that has a lot of texture to it, it's, it's kind of stiff, but maybe a little bit finer. Um, that just depends on how fine your lines are. So I'm going to go in here and do the last little cuff like a, a tool. 
kind of outline it and then I'm just going to scratch in the texture. And you get that lovely feeling. of kind of a, a mesh, okay? Now what I'm also gonna do is, remember how we kind of shaded some of this to sort of show it wrapping around? Well, I'm gonna do the same thing with my black laces. And um, so I'm gonna use a slightly darker gray. So I used a number three gray. So I'm gonna use a number six gray to do the shadowing. So here, let me, hold on. Uh, just wanna, Continue, this is white here and I don't want it to be white anywhere. So I just want to bring the shading out. So what I'm gonna do, is, and it kind of lines up, so I'm just, I'm just gonna see like a little bit of it. That might be too dark, let me see. And you can kind of just wrap it around, give it an indication that there is something going on back and it'll help it look more sheer. And of course I'm not going onto the skin because I wouldn't really want to do that. I'm just getting a little bit of what it's going to look like when you can see through the fabric and see the details that go behind it. Okay. And we can see that, let me try just a lighter fat, uh, gray uh, marker. Let's let me go back to, well, that was a three. What else do I got over here? Let's try this guy. So I want this to be a little bit more subtle. So maybe I do a little, have a little, not showing like that. And maybe a little bit of a flower is showing from behind. So we can get sort of how, see how that can sort of make it look a lot more sort of three-dimensional. You can see through now only, uh, you can't, uh, you can see not only through the sort of top layer, but you can see it through the uh, back layer. And just to stay on this topic, that's going to be really important when we get to something like this, where we have really sheer fabric and really, really solid fabric. So um, when we get here and I go in and add my shading again, it's going to be even more important and it's going to give us a really nice kind of look at how it is see-through and it's going to make it really feel real. A little here, a little there, a little everywhere. So we have this now. And as you can see, it sort of gives us that impression of seeing through the fabric and what's going on behind it, okay? And that's gonna be important here too, same reason. So maybe we have a little flower here. Of course, we can see the back of it. I don't want to do any in the arm, but we have those nice sort of shadows that are coming through. And just to finish, I think the last place I'll finish it up is right here. And this is pretty light, so I'm actually, let me switch to maybe a cool gray number one. Give us just the ones in back. little dots here and there just to show what's happening when the fabric wraps around see just at that lovely three-dimensional look okay let's finish up the outline and then maybe do a little bit of detailing like we did in here
Now when this is subtle, like this, you might wanna go in just like we did here and add a little bit just to make it stand out more. Give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of feeling. Not too much, because we want to keep it subtle. Really how much you do depends on how subtle the fabric is to begin with, okay? Now let's make sure, just like we did before, that these little dots are standing out. I'm gonna break up our line so they can really sit on top of the outline there. Let's bring this in because it didn't end up as quite as wide. Let's add one more. There we go. Popping out there. So again, you can really feel the roundness to it. Okay. Now in all of these, if you want to go ahead and maybe show a little bit of the sleeve coming around to you, that helps with the sort of three-dimensional aspect of it. Okay, well, let's finish up over here. Texture, we put in that texture. 